What up, nerds? This is your Supreme Leader, and today I wanted to share something with you guys. Something that I did a few weeks back. Come along. You see this lovely Lego set that I have right here? What is it, Kylo Ren? Well, for those of you who don't know, this is the Razor Crest number two. In other words, the Naboo Starfighter that we saw in The Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett. Pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, just look at all this craftsmanship and detail that the makers had to go through to design such a beautiful ship like this. I mean, just tell me this isn't the best Lego set you have ever seen. I mean, come on, I can't be the only one just to look at it and be like, wow, this is a masterpiece. But how did something like this get built? I'll tell you how it, this was made. With time, patience, and love. I built this Lego set right here. Why? Because I love Star Wars, and I'm not afraid to express how I feel for Star Wars. Then you got these grifters on the other side, who are just... Wasting their time every day, complaining over the same shit over and over again when they could be doing something really better with their time. And then there's me, however. How do I show my gratitude and expression and love for Star Wars? I do these. I do Lego sets. Why do I do it? Because I love to. I love Legos. I love to build as a mirror camera guy. You see that lovely shuttle right there with pretty old me right there? I built that. That took me like at least three hours to build. And I gotta say, it was the best three hours of my life. Tell me that isn't the best Lego set you've ever seen. Maybe not the best, there's probably better out there, but... The time. Which is what I'm going with this. All these grifters online, they just waste their time and talk about the same shit over and over and over again. What do they do? What do they show you online? I'm going to tell you what they show you. They only show you their negative side. They never actually show what they can do. What can they do? Nothing. They can't do shit. All they do is sit down, complain, and cry over Star Wars, Marvel, and other IPs out there. Me, on the other hand, if I wanted to do videos, live streams, I could be showing you my good side. Things that I actually would love to share to the world. And like today, I'm sharing to you guys what I can do. I can build Legos. I can build Legos better than they can. Why? Because the time and dedication is worth it. And I know that at the end, I am a talented Sith Lord that can build amazing Lego sets like this. In addition, who also knows how to manage time. I could do a lot of things in my free time. This is one of them right here. They, however, they do exactly this. This is what they do, watch. Just Thank you, camera guy. So in first news, Disney Plus has lost a yay amount of subscribers. Hollywood has fallen. The rise of SJWs and snowflakes. Oh my goodness. James Gunn's presence in DC is going to be the downfall and end of DC itself. How is it in shambles? Oh my goodness. You see what I'm saying? That shit is boring. Nobody wants to see that. It's like we're watching the CNN news hour or something. Nobody nobody wants to see that. Nobody cares about all that. I don't care if Dave Filoni shoves a sandwich and then a lot of critics are like, that's not how you eat a sandwich. Nobody cares. I'd rather be talking about things like this. This Razor Crest right here is already better than all the videos that they do every single day. Have they ever showed you what they do? Do they even talk about what they love? Do they even do any positive things? Absolutely not. Your Supreme Leader can even argue that what we, the fans, the viewers, Star Wars fans, whatever you want to call it, we are doing far better than these grifters because we are actually living and enjoying what we love. Unlike them who love to sit on that smelly ass <coughs> chair right there, bitching and complaining every day. Going over boring statistics. Like I said, if I wanted to see statistics, I could just go on CNN. I could go to PBS. I could be watching that. And I could get that in a matter of seconds. Or I could even look it up on my phone and be like, ba-bam, there it is. You see, anyone could do that. I'm not going to do that. How does a fan like me show 
my appreciation for Star Wars. When I do things like this. That's how we express ourselves. They can't do shit. They can't. They could tell it to themselves so many times. Mm -mm. Nope. They will never. As long as that lightsaber is shoved in their ass. They will never love what they do. And they're always going to be wasting their time. Talking about the same shit over and over. And you know what? In a matter of years, it's not going to even matter. They're going to lose views. They're going to lose subscribers. And they're going to be begging. And they're going to open up OnlyFans. Or Rumble, Patreon, whatever you want to call it. But While us, we may not be getting a lot of views, attention. But you know what? At least we are enjoying things right now. Living the moment. There, on the other hand, they're just here crying in this chair. For, let's see, how long? I think it's, let's see, whew, since the last Jedi came out. Damn, that is disappointing. My fellow nerds, I can even say, even more, that we have a better IQ intelligence than all of them brain dead of the fandom. I mean, but her menace combined. That's how damn good we are, the fans. They're just nothing but irrelevant popcorn farts and that's all your supreme leader gotta say well i've ran it enough thank you guys for watching like comment share and subscribe and remember may the force be with y'all i'll see you on the next one peace out